everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be another little episode on growing experiments. Um, and it's going to be all about the Orange Hat Cherry Tomato. So I've actually grown this a couple times now and I think it's a really fantastic variety for the Aero Gardens um, especially, um, but really any indoor or hydroponic setup that you might be using. So um, I'll kind of walk you through the, the plant and share some um, tips and tricks that I've learned from growing it. like smaller tomatoes but this is a extra compact micro variety it really only gets about six to nine inches tall maybe 12 inches if you have a long growing season and it's just super compact which makes it great for the air gardens because these are small indoor units so like I said I have it in my bounty it's right here on the right side of the machine and it's kind of taken over um, the edge of it I have experimented with pruning the first time I didn't really prune at all and I let it grow to its full height which was like roughly around 9 to 12 inches. Um, this time I did prune slightly and I kind of encouraged it to grow low and wide as opposed to tall. Um, I don't think you need to prune. It's a very prolific variety. Um, it, it's so compact that it'll grow well within any of the air garden units so you really don't need to prune. I just wanted to experiment and so I just pruned it once and I never pruned it again and these put on not only a lot of leaves like foliage but also a lot of cherry tomatoes. Um, super productive and it's a really fun plant because you get so much fruit production, so many cherry tomatoes in such a small tiny little plant. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a big fan of them and the fruit is, like the name implies, orange. Um, they start off green then they gradually get um, yellowish and then when they're fully ready and ripe they turn orange. So obviously I'm planting them in a hydroponic unit, but I think these would also be really nice in little, tiny little like clay pots. Um, you could use them to like line a garden bed or a little walkway um, because they do kind of stay nice and contained and they are quite colorful. Um, so they're both ornamental and tasty to eat. I only have the one plant. Um, I am thinking of maybe planting a couple more, but um, the nice thing about these is they take up very little square footage and they're very, very productive. So there's tons of orange tomatoes on there. It produces pretty early, I wanna say around three, four weeks, I started seeing um, little tomatoes forming and it just kinda of keeps producing. So I've already eaten probably 10 tomatoes off of this um, and it's got maybe like 30 more on the plant. Um, and so yeah, it's really productive for such a small footprint. Um, so I think it's a really nice plant if you're limited by your square footage. Then in terms of pollination and maintenance, I really like this variety because it's very, very low maintenance. So tomatoes are self-pollinating, meaning the little flower contains both like male and female pollen, and all you have to do is shake it and let the pollen kind of mingle, um, and then you will eventually get fruit out of that. So the orange hat produces little yellow buds, um, and what I do when I'm paying attention is I will go and shake the plant lightly. Um, you can also get like Air Garden sells a little tool called like Be the Bee. Um, you can use a little fan, but I found that just literally going by and like shaking it every couple days um, in general for any kind of pollinating plant works just fine. Um, and what I like specifically about the orange hat is you don't even really have to do that. Um, I find that I'm always kind of getting new tomatoes, even though I don't really go in and um, pay a lot of attention to the tomato plant. Whereas uh, for my pepper plants, I have to be like really really they're much more like finicky and delicate um the orange hat is like pretty setting and organic so the plant produces these little yellow flowers you give them a shake and you'll know if the flowers have been pollinated they get kind of like a spiky hard look to them um, if they haven't been pollinated, then they will dry up and fall and you'll see like shriveled little yellow buds. But if they are pollinated, they kind of have this little like look to them and then eventually like a little green ball will form from the inside and grow to become a little cherry tomato. They're pretty small fruit, but they actually taste really good. Um, so I guess let's talk about taste. I grew this last year and I actually was disappointed by the taste. They were super bland. And then um, since I already had the packet of seeds, I decided to grow them again. 
and this time they're super super juicy like super sweet they taste really really good um, I just kind of snack on them I don't even really cook with them because they're just they're just so easy to kind of like snack on um, and so I was kind of thinking about like why they taste better this time around and I'm not really sure to be honest I think it's a couple reasons um, one I've been much more consistent about the water levels and the nutrients um, so any kind of fruiting plant will require heavier nutrition um, and generally with these air gardens they you know they tell you to top up the nutrition every 14 days but sometimes when the plants are full grown they're drinking up the full water tank in like two days and so even though you replace the water you're not replacing the nutrients on um, as frequent a schedule so this time around I make sure to top up the nutrients more regularly and I think the other thing potentially is this time I'm growing it in the bounty. Last time I grew it in this small little harvest um, and it is compact enough to fit in the harvest but I think maybe it's probably better suited to a bounty or farm because the lights are stronger. So this is the Bounty Elite and it's a 50 watt um, LED which is actually quite strong. The farm, the large floor models are like 60 watts so there's only a 10 watt difference between this and that. Um, there's different kinds of bounties. This is the strongest light bounty um, and I do think lighting plays like kind of an important part um, because so these lights are all in one. They have white, red, two different types of red I believe and blue light and um, basically as a plant goes through its life cycle it requires um, different light waves to for like leaf production for root production for fruit production all of that so I do think the stronger lights make a difference um, and I think the harvest probably um, was maybe a little bit too weak I don't remember offhand but I want to say the harvest lights are like a 20 LED so these are more than double the strength and then I will say the plant is slightly delicate and what I mean by this is I don't really go in and like shake it too often anymore because it self-pollinates on its own um, but every now and then I'll go in and kind of do some maintenance, clean up the little units um, and when I touch the plant too much the fruit will fall off um, and I think that's because the plant is relatively small and it puts out so much fruit that the fruit can really weigh it down um, so if your cherry tomatoes fall off when they're still green um, it's not a problem you can leave them on your counter and they'll continue to ripen so don't like throw them out and think that they're too raw um, just leave it on the counter and yeah they'll continue to ripen i also have heard that you should ideally like remove fruit as it ripens so that the plant doesn't continue to waste energy on maintaining that fruit and it can grow more cherry tomatoes. Um, I think that's probably true. I haven't really done that to be honest. I've just kind of left all the tomatoes on the plant and I just eat them as I eat them. Um, and I will say this variety continues to grow new little tomatoes. Um, you don't have to worry about kind of relieving some of the cherry tomatoes off of it. So it's a, it's a really hardy plant, it's quite nice. So yeah, overall I really like this variety. I highly recommend growing it. Um, I'll link where you can get the seeds in the description if you also wanna try it out. And if you have any other micro or dwarf cherry tomato varieties that you would recommend, um, then let me know in the comments.